Last Sunday in the Central Division, the last place Bears found their cellar flooded. Except for kickoffs where he had some running room, number 40 Gale Sayers could get no more than 15 yards. Viking coach Bud Grant said Sayers is the greatest stop and go runner in the game. But this time when he stopped, he couldn't get going again. After the game, Gail Sayers said the Vikings are the greatest team in the NFL. Minnesota's great defense killed every Chicago drive and allowed the Bears only 54 rushing yards. The Bears paid for every mistake, including one error they made before the game, named Mike Riley. Linebacker Riley, number 57, blocked a punt and fell on it for the first Minnesota score. Riley had been a Bear until he was traded away at the beginning of the season. Almost two periods later, Viking quarterback Joe Cap threw one of four passes to tight end John Beasley, and the score was 14-0. Chicago's quarterbacks, Jack Concannon and number 15, Virgil Carter, could not get enough passes to the right people. Minnesota pressured them into three interceptions, and number 46, Ursel McBee, ran his back for 39 yards. But it was the success of the Minnesota ground game that made the shutout so devastating. Number 26, Clint Jones, gave a lesson in old-fashioned straight-arming to get an 18-yard touchdown. Vikings 24, Bears nothing. Even the injured leading Viking ground gainer, Bill Brown, was not sorely missed as number 41, Dave Osborne, had a 106-yard day. In the last two minutes, the frustrated Bears blitzed right by Osborne and he romped 58 yards to agonize the Bears, 31-0. Minnesota stayed on the top and Chicago stayed on the bottom of the Central Division. <laughs>